Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ali and we are here with another unboxing. What we have for today's video, it is the Boxy Charm Boxy Luxe Box for the month of June. Um I thought when I got this box, I actually thought this was my premium box. This looks like a tiny box. It does feel heavy, but it looks smaller than what the other ones look like, but let's see what we have inside for those of you that don't know about this box this is a seasonal box so the luxe box is a seasonal box and it is 49.99 or 50 dollars one of the two um so and you are set to get i want to say nine to ten full-size items and the total box value i want to say is over 200 dollars. so i get so many boxes i always i can't keep track of what's what but this is the one that we have for this video and we will find out at the end of the video how much or at the end of, you know, taking out all the products, how much, how much the box is actually worth. And of course, that's why I'm not wearing any makeup. Whatever makeup items we have in here that I can try on on my face, I'm going to do so towards the end of the video as well. So let's go in and just see what we have so it says boxy charm uh, the oasis um and then we have product information in the back so i'm assuming these are going to be products to kind of help you relax while we're at home so let's see um okay i see a mixture of different things i'm gonna take out this one though because i have no idea what it is um it says hallmark collections and it's in a little plastic pouch with a little drawstring and it looks like we have like a cheetah print oh okay so a sleeping mask we have a sleeping mask and it's like a nice silky material and we have a, a pillowcase i know i think the silkiness of this is supposed to help your hair or something like that so that is the first item i actually really like this uh What's it called? Sleeping mask. Sleeping mask. Um, so that's our first item is a set. Up next, I'm gonna grab this one here. It is from Billion Dollar oh, Billion Dollar Brushes. It is a brush set, and this is the charcoal brush set. The bristles are infused with charcoal for an antimicrobial effect. So let's see what kind of brushes we have in here. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the box that I was looking at. And oh, we have quite a bit in here. We have one, two, oops, I'm dropping everything. One, two, three, four. We have five brushes. We have a set of five brushes. Now let's see. So we have a contour brush, super soft. We have a powder brush. We have an eyeshadow brush. This is a flat one. Then we have a highlighter brush. This is like a smaller one, more like for like brow bone or, you know, and then, then we have a, con a concealer brush, which is also flat. So we have a five piece set of brushes. Then I'm gonna go for this one here. And this is from Tula Skincare, Glow It and Get It. Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Cool, okay. Um, let me see. So it's literally a balm oh what the oh i was like what the heck is this i thought you like squeezed it out through here but no it's actually just a little stopper and it, it's literally a bomb so we have we have a stick so this one was our third item up next i'm going to grab this one here from pure heels by Na nature village and this is the propolis 80 sleeping mask so let me take this out. It smells good. I can already smell it, and I just opened that little cardboard box. So it came with a little with a little tiny spatula. So let me see what the mask actually looks like. Oh, it looks like some of it came out, but it does have this plastic cover. Oh, it almost looks like honey. Um, up next we have something from Kylie Skin. This is the foaming face wash. I honestly don't know how I feel about her line. Just because, I mean, I know she has, um, 
I know she has her makeup line, but it's I think it's one thing to go from like makeup to like skincare. I think they're two totally different things. And to me, it just kind of looked like she was looking for something to just put her name on to just make more money. So I honestly don't know how I feel about this one. So I'm going to have to think about this one for now and see what I do with it, if I keep it or not. Um, then we have something from Bodyography. And it says Lip Pencil 2-Pack. So let's see if, what we have here. Okay, so we do have two lip liners. One in the shade Putty or Pouty. And the other one is rosewood so this one looks like it's like a burgundy kind of shade oh yeah it is a burgundy and this one's a little bit more neutral they do feel a little bit stiff so we'll see at the end how they feel once i use them on my lips um up next i'm gonna grab this one here is from pure lease it says perfect glow bb cream with spf 30 um, now, what shade is this? Oh, it's in the shade medium. So, I'm hoping it's not too dark or too light. Oh, it actually doesn't look too bad. This is it here. And it looks like it has a pretty good amount of coverage. So, we will see once I put it on my face because I do have a lot of breakouts at the moment, a lot of redness. So, we'll see if it covers any of that up. Then the very last item that we have here, it is from Tarte, is the Tartius Pro. Um, this one is the High Performance Neutrals. So let's see the colors. Oh, this is like a nice matte with the gold letters on there. It's really nice. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, so all of these here are matte colors, and then we have a whole row of shimmers. So that's cool. Um, and it has a pretty good range of different colors so i have no idea where this is all gonna go but we will find out at the end so this one here was the very last item from the box so really quick let me give you guys msrp prices so send. okay so starting off with the kylie skin by kylie jenner foaming face wash this is 24 dollars then we have the pure Lease beauty perfect glow bb cream this is $35. The Tula Skin Care uh, Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This is $28. Then we have the Tarte Tartius Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. This is $49. Then we have the set, the Hallmark Collectibles Satin Pillow and Mask Set. This is $50. Oh man. Um, then we have the brush set from Billion Dollar Browse. The set is $55? I wouldn't pay $55 for this set. But according to this, the five-piece set is $55. Um, then we have the Pure Heels Propolis 80 Sleeping Mask. This is $55. We have a lot of 50 range items um, and then we have the Bodyography lip, lip Pencil Set. So both of these here. MSRP is $28. So what is the total value? $324. That, that is a really good value for the box. We paid $50 for it. Um, I think we got a lot of high-priced items. A lot of them are in the $50 range, which is good for the box. So... Now we can move on to the try-on portion of the video. I'm going to start off by trying this um, eye, uh, what's it called? The Glow and Get It Eye Brightening Balm. So I'm assuming you just, oh wow. How? Feels cold. So that feels cold when it comes in contact with your skin that is so weird how do they do that okay so up next i'm gonna try the bb cream i don't know if it's gonna be my shade or how pigmented it's actually going to be so and i already prepped my skin so i'm just gonna put this on top and uh, doesn't look too bad this might actually work 
Okay, so this is the kind of coverage that it has. It is a BB cream, so it's obviously not going to be like super high coverage like a foundation will. But honestly, I think it has a pretty good amount of coverage um, for being a BB cream. Um, the only thing I don't like is that with BB creams, I feel like they leave your skin looking oily. Um, so I'm going to set this a little bit. I'm going to get some concealer, put it under my eyes and cover up um, the spots that are still showing a lot more. And I'm going to prime my eyes, do a little bit more so I can come back and use the, um, the eyeshadow palette. So the next thing that I'm going to do is do my eyeshadow with the palette. Just because um, I'm wearing a BB cream, it's not full coverage, I want to do something that's a little bit more on the like simple, uh, more natural side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with bold all over my lid. That's the one that I'm going to use as my base. Um, and then just go from there. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a really pretty, uh, like, neutral shade. And it's going on really, really nicely. I'm going to grab the one that's right under it. It's called Pro Fresh. It has almost like a, like a, like a lilac, like a purplish kind of, um, kind of tone. So I think I'm gonna go that route, and I'm just gonna put it on my crease, um, just a little bit lower from where I just put the the first shade and honestly they are on the lid they're looking a lot darker than they than they look um on the pan i thought this was gonna be like a light a really light shade but it's actually looking like a almost like a dark purple so that's one thing to be careful with but nonetheless they are looking really really nice and they're blending really really easy that looks really, really pretty. I'm really liking the color. And then the only other one that I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, this one here, the one right under it. It's called Fierce. It's a darker purple. Um, so let's see how dark this one actually comes up. And then this one, I'm just going to keep it on the outer corner. It's actually, it, it's a really nice color. It's not like super dark, but it is darker than the one that I just used. So it's a good outer corner. I know I said I was going to keep it neutral, but this already almost turned into like a night smoky eye with the dark colors. I'm telling you, every time I, I think of a, like I'm going to make a eye look, look one way, it always turns out completely different. So um, let's see. After this, I'm just going to put one of the metallic shades on the lid and just call it a day because if I keep going, this is gonna turn into a full like night <laughs> glam kind of look. So with that one on the corner, I'm just going to grab, I'm gonna grab this light one, it's called glam. <laughs> it's called glam, <laughs> keep, keeping, it, keeping it simple. But I'm gonna grab the color glam and I'm gonna put it here on the front of my lid. It's not super like sparkly or metallic-y, but it's really really pretty okay so with that done i am actually going to use where is my brush i'm going to use this angled brush we have a black here and i'm actually going to use that um for my eyeliner i don't want to have like a really like dark harsh line so i'm gonna just make this one soft but you know dark enough to where you can see it okay so those are it for the eyeshadows um, really quick, I'm going to put eyeliner and mascara, and I'll be back to use the lip liner. Wait, I just put eyeliner. I'm going to put mascara on. <laughs> okay, so considering the colors that I have on my face right now, I think I'm going to go with this one with the color pouty, just because it's a little bit more neutral, and the red, I think it'll be really just kind of make everything really glam and that's not the look that i was going for so i'm just gonna go with this one and actually once i put it on the lips it's not it's not as tough uh to to put on as i thought it was gonna be um it actually it's going on really really nice and i'm just gonna color on color in my 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 whole lip and then um 
I'm gonna leave it with a matte look, like the way that it is. Okay, so that is the lip liner on. I really like the color. It's really, really nice. Like it's a nice, soft, like powdery pink, um, but not too pink. I really like that color. Okay, so those were all the products from the box that I can use. And obviously I used the brushes to apply everything that I could. I used this one for the powder. I used this one for my bronzer. I used the um, the concealer brush to kind of like spread out my um, eyeshadow base. So they were actually really soft and they put on the, the makeup really, really nice. I really like those brushes. Um, but overall, I think it was a pretty good box aside. I still don't know how I feel about this Kylie skin thing. Um, but overall, I think they were pretty good items. I'm surprised of uh, the color match for the BB cream. Um, I think it's pretty good good i have to i would have to see it out on like daylight daylight to get a you know a, a final answer but overall i think it was pretty good different items um we don't normally get bb creams but i'm, I'm pretty happy i'm pretty happy with what i got so those were all the items so that means that is all for me for today i will be back really soon with another unboxing and i will see all of you guys back here next time bye